As you can see, we have a cracked main fairing here from a hard landing. Now you can see the extent of the damage on this side and two brakes over here. We're going to take it back over and see what we can do to salvage this for the customer. Okay, now as we start to repair on the fairing, the first thing we do is we look at, we have, we have three major cracks in this. We have a crack all the way up to the spine and part of the DLAM on the spine. We have a crack to the rear of the plate and we have a crack to the front of the plate. So it was a fairly good landing. And according to the scrape marks, uh, the landing was caused by the tire expanding out, grabbing the rim, grabbing it, and then tearing it. So a hard landing and a tiger. So the first thing we do is we usually start with the smallest crack first. This one is the one that's going to be the easiest to stabilize. So we stabilize it on the outside with, this is, the this is available on the tape aisle of the Aviation Consumer Spot, Home Depot. And we just put a couple of pieces of tape. What we want to do is just make sure it can't expand anymore on the outside. Now we roll it over. And we see that the crack is fairly well lined up. It's smooth now. There's no jagged edges. And now let's get some solvent. Okay, what I basically did was I went and got some lacquer thinner and I completely cleaned all this metal and all this ABS plastic to get it down. Now to repair it, we're going to be using screen. And this is, again, your home improvement store, Home Depot Lowe's. It's just a roll of window screen and black nylon. <laughs> I'm only using black because that's what I was donated. And secondly, the ABS cement I'm using is black. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut a piece of about the right size and shape, and this is it. And then we're going to glue it into place. So you open the can, and then very carefully, stand by one, move all this out of my way. Just in case we have any drips, I don't want to hurt a food table. Now we take the black and we just start painting it all over the area where we're going to put the cloth. Just a good liberal coating. Let me see how well that's coming out on camera. So you can see if I pick it up how I've painted the black all in that big black patch. Now you come back with the cloth and now you start working the cloth into the glue. Smoothing it down, forcing the cement to come up through the weave and get on the top. And you just don't want to patch right where the crack is. I usually go about 50% further up the crack and I always go out at least two inches on a side because you want to get some sh good strength across that weld. A little bit sticking out the bottom, not worried about it. I'll trim that off with a roll lock after this has a chance to set up. <coughs> And this is my first one. I'm actually going to use a second piece across the bottom the other way just for a little additional strength. Okay, and now it appears <coughs> that the fumes are getting to me, but it, it's all soaked in. I've got two layers of cloth down, and now we're just going to let it cure. And then when this is stable tomorrow, we'll start on the, the other two. Let me uh, take the camera off the tripod, give you a little bit better close-up of what I did. And as you can see, I've laid one piece down here on the bottom and the other piece extends all the way up to here and 
just a big black mass. Uh, it's just going to cure overnight. Okay, well here we are back working on this fairing. As you can see, looking on the inside, that we've already done the biggest part of this big crack. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it over. As you can see, it has really reinforced it nicely. And what we're going to do is put some blue tape on the outside to line it up again, hold it into place. We're going to add more cloth. And then we'll uh, put some of the ABS cement on it and get it all held back in place properly. One more big piece of tape. It's going to need a little bit of a clamp right there on the end. We'll put a little clamp right there on the edge. Now it's all lined up. Make sure I'm still in the viewfinder. And I am. Now we're going to go ahead and finish laying the cloth in. Cloth is ready to go. Crack is stable. All right, so we take the ABS cement. Again, this is available at your Home Depot aviation aisle. Window screen in place. Now we glue it all down by pushing the mesh into the glue we had just put down on the fairing as well as meshing it with the others. Since this crack is on the edge, we're actually going to lay a piece along the bottom which will go along and help secure it and bring it all back together. Cut out a piece of the screen. Now lay it 90 degrees to the other and embed it all together with some more ABS cement. Want a pretty good liberal coating on this side. And there we go. And that will cure up in a few minutes, well, about a half an hour. And we rotate it so you can see it. We've just laid the cloth into place, and that will cure. And then what we'll do tomorrow, we will finish up the other big crack, which is this one right here, which goes over half of the shell. That one's going to be a little trickier. But meanwhile, this side of the fairing is all good and stable, and we will finish this up tomorrow. We are in the repair cycle. We've done two of the cracks already, but you can see that this last crack is huge. It runs all the way up the fairing into the spine. Okay, we're running along. Um, what the problem we had was is right up here on the spine there's two layers of royal light that overlapped each other and one was caught under the other so now we've got it back in place we'll have to add a little body fill here but now we've got the top very stable so now we're going to move along to the bottom which we had stabilized before and we're going to do it again now the bottom locks in very nicely. It's a nice jagged cut, lots of rough edges, almost like a jigsaw puzzle, snaps right into place. And now we just come back, pull this into place, lay some tape down, and we pretty much be able to do this one all in one fell swoop. Pushing the tape down nice and hard uh, you can actually use because you really want a good seal. You don't want it to. We don't want to get any of the uh, ABS cement on the outside. We can always sand it off, but then that just means we have to do more painting. So now that crack is completely stable because of the blue tape. Now for the fun part, that crack has to be cleaned, and it runs from all the way up here at the top of the spine all the way down along here to the bottom and out. So that's a lot of area to clean and we're going to get on that.
it's uh, very important that you clean the area before you glue it because you really want that ABS not to have any reason not to soak in. Using a lacquer thinner to remove all the brake dust and dirt and debris. You don't have to worry about any roughness to the surface because it's already rough enough on the inside. This is not the finished side. So as you can see, we picked up quite a bit of dirt. I always start with a dirty rag. And I'll grab a clean shop rag. And we'll do it again. Now you can use just about any kind of solvent you want. I'm using a lacquer thinner. I've also used alcohol. Just want to make sure it's clean. There's no oil or grease or other debris that might affect the, the bond. So now we've got it nice and clean. And I'm cleaning out a little ways because I'm going to be laying in a lot of uh, cloth here. And as you can see now it's much cleaner. Look in the viewfinder and see. Yep, there we go. Alright. So now we start figuring out what we're going to use in the way of fabric. I'm going to go about two inches on either side, two and a half inches on either side of this. That works out well. I'm going to have to cut out where the fasteners are. I'm going to mark those areas by distorting the fiberglass, pushing it down to the bottom. And then do it again for the other fastener. Now that I know where those holes are, I can make them. And as you can see, I'm trying to punch this out, and it is quite difficult to do. This is very strong nylon screen. Line up the holes again to make sure I haven't made any boo boos. And it lays in there really nice now. Okay, that's the first piece. <coughs> so let's see, make sure we still have plenty of light in there. We do. Now we're going to come and lay in the ABS cement. Oh. Just as soon as I go, there we go. Didn't need to get a big two pliers today. And we're going to be putting the ABS cement everywhere that that screen would go. We're just going to lather it in there. We want a good thick coating. We want to make sure we work it into the crack. We get a good thick coating in there. Now we take the cloth, we line up the holes on the fasteners, this is where I'm going to get some loop on my fingers, and then we take the little wand and some more cement, and we now push the mesh down into it. This is what's going to give us our strength. And just like working with fiberglass, you want to get the right amount of cement, you know, it's like when you do fiberglass cloth. Extra epoxy doesn't make strength, it just adds weight. So, there we go, we have the first big piece in. Alright, now I'm going to prop this up on a rag so I can go up to the spine now. I don't know how well. You just stay right there. Okay, let's see if I'm still in the viewfinder. And I am. Now we're going to go up here and attack the spine. Now here's where it starts. And it goes back about three inches. I'm 
trying not to breathe when my nose, nose is up in the uh, up in the fairing because it is curing and it is letting some volatile gas off. Now I'm going to lay a piece here right into the crack. And then I'm going to come back and put a longitudinal one in just. Move it around. Again, I'm just pushing the mesh down into the previous. I want it all to become one big piece. The fact that I took it across the spine to the other side is going to glue that spine back together. It's not going to allow the spine to come apart. all pushed in. I'm checking the edges. I got one little dry section right here. But now all the edges are wet. We've got a nice generous coating of cement. We have mesh pushed in and now we'll just let it cure overnight and by tomorrow I'll just come and take the blue tape off the outside and uh, do a little bit of touch up. And we'll be able to do that touch up with just a little bit of paint. I mean we won't need to prep the whole area. We'll just be putting it on with a real small um, detail brush uh, to hide the crack but there you go that's the fairing all repaired and now we'll just let it cure and we'll see what we have in the morning but on the outside I can feel there's no there's no divot I mean it's just a nice smooth transition so we've done a pretty good job of saving this uh, 1979 Royal Out fairing from um, being thrown away Thank you so much for uh, watching, and we'll be back tomorrow. Well, good morning. We've now done the repair. Yeah, I'm going to turn my little screen around. I'll be upside down, but at least I can see. So you can see that big, long patch that we put in here yesterday. It's come along real well. It's all cured. The other two are done. Now, wh one of the reasons why we put the blue tape on the outside is to stabilize it at the very beginning. But it also keeps the glue from running out. And if there does some run out through the, through the crack, it doesn't really go anywhere. And then we can just come back and pick it all out and remove it and then do a light sand and get some touch-up paint on that. Now, if you remember at the beginning of the video, and if you look at the one removing a main wheel fairing, that you saw just how badly damaged it was. Look at this wheel fairing now. I mean, you can, it is, it is ready to go back on the aircraft. The only thing I'm going to do is because we had to lay some cloth over these holes, I'm going to run a 832 tap through these holes very lightly. I don't want to destroy the, um, the capture ability, but I want to be able to make sure that I don't have any goo in the, uh, in the holes right here. So we're going to go get a tap and run through that. But that pretty much finishes the repair on this fairing that was so badly damaged. And then put it back on the aircraft and do some touch-up painting with a small brush. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you don't have to repair any plastic, but if you do, just a couple of things you need. Uh, get a roll of the nylon hardware cloth from Home Depot. It's just window screening, very strong. And we use Oatley's, you know, we use Oatley's medium black ABS cement. And we use the black because it uh, does a really good job, and we use medium to give us enough cure time to work it really quickly. So, again, we hope you don't have to do any plastic, but if you do, knock your lights out. It's a great technique for saving some of the Royal Light on your aircraft. Thanks for watching.